You are weary from your travels, but mesmerized at the sight of Baldur's Gate. Not only a town of myth and legend, but also a place where one can find fame and fortune round every corner. It is night as you enter the city, and it seems strangely deserted. But you soon discover that the night holds danger as well. And in an instant, that danger is upon you. See what our little ambush has won us. Halt! Who goes there? It's the watch. Let's get out of here. Yes, but take the gold. Leave the rest for the watch. Drawn by a haunting voice, you come to the Elf Song Tavern. It is a small place filled with a motley assortment of patrons and grisly trophies. There, the haunting voice is all around you, and the patrons are silent as the song washes over them. One by one, they all seemed lost in its call. What's this you've caught? A sewer rat? Don't hurt him. Lord Xantum will wish to speak to him, and he'll need to be in the best of health. Ah, excellent. I was expecting you. Did you receive the package from Lord Xantum? I... I did. And I have it with me. And you know where it is bound? He told me to take it to the crypts and place it within the Chamber of Ashes there. Excellent. The entrance you seek lies on the level below past the sewer grates. Let no one see you enter the temple and do exactly as you have been instructed. Now be on your way. I will return for the prisoner later. Guard him well.
Emperor. Why do the priests still live? I do not know, my Lord Xantum. I have heard rumors that the orb was destroyed before it could do more than slay a few priests. By whom? I do not know for certain, my lord, but I think my thieves and I may have met the attacker on the city streets above. If they were one of your victims, how is it this creature still lives? The city watch came upon us as we were about to deal the killing blows, my lord. We were forced to flee to avoid being captured. Your oversight has cost us much, Khan. Gather the soldiers. Although our secret entrances still remain undetected, it's only a matter of time before the dogs of the City Watch sniff us out, and we must be prepared for them. I will see to it at once, my lord. Khan, if the creature who destroyed the orb should make its way here... It shall not come to that, my lord. I swear it. We shall see, Khan. If you fail me in this, I shall attend to the matter personally. So, you've come all this way. To think I missed the chance to kill you when we first met. You speak the truth. I had not expected you to make it through the gauntlet. Still, it matters little whether you kill me or not. For either way, you will still die. Even if you kill me, my lord waits below. Your death at his hands will be a slow one compared to the mercy I will show you.
the stranger that Khan spoke of. You humanoids all look alike to me, weak and fragile. Khan should have killed you when he had the chance. It is no matter. There are always others like him, small-minded and foolish, eager to take his place. You humanoids were born to be our slaves. And you will answer for those deaths. Do you think that your efforts here have saved this city? You're wrong. Our power extends far beyond these city streets. You cannot hope to stop us all. It is you who will die, and your death will be a slow one. Traitors will die for crossing us. My attack? You presume much. The dwarven mines were to be ours, but we care nothing for the sunset mountains or your filthy surface cities. Those have been promised to others, and they may have them. Can it be that you've come all this way without knowing your enemy? Then it is ignorance that has made you brave. You will soon choke on your own screams, intruder. And then I shall offer up your body to Lulf.
This is the land of my people. Seth rules here. I will put a spear through your heart and drink blood from your skull. Your bones I shall give to the tower. Once again, hound me, and all the way to my sanctuary this time, though it lies a horizon's distance from their walls. Can it be they fear me that much? Wisdom, at least. Surrender. I who have bested death. I have nothing to fear from you. I served Baldur's Gate with all of my first life, only to be repaid with betrayal. They cost me a battle, 
protect the lives of my soldiers and my reputation. Now I am but a sentence or two in a sage's book, a footnote, forever traitor. Now you dare to invade my fortress, demand my surrender? No, I shall not bend my knee to you or them ever. An eternity may die before I would ever consider showing them mercy. As I died, they shall die alone. Then you shall die. I command this tower. I command all within it. All your small victories, all the damage you caused, can be undone. Know that as long as I stand, the war against Baldur's Gate shall continue, and I shall be victorious. You may hold the field, dark, but the day is mine. Now, let us end this. flash of the portal's light, Eldrith's tower was no more. Lightning rained upon the tower, and flames as if from within. And thus, in a storm of fire and lightning, 
Eldrith died her second death. But it was all part of a much larger design. It is done. Eldrith is undone. And her threat to us and our plans has been ended. And the harper that defeated her, killed. Now we may continue without interference, Master. Where did the portal lead? It led to a far distant land. Far from Baldur's Gate. Far from the Sunset Mountains. Far from the Marsh of Chalimber. And far from safety. But that is a tale for another time.